Hey, Tubi Lights, how's it going today? Well, today I'm going to show you uh, something kind of personal, my uh, split personality. I have a uh, split personality I'd like to share with you guys. And um, we built this split personality about two years ago. And, um, well, let's just show you what it is. Okay guys, well, here's one of my other attachments that I actually built myself for my uh, tractor, like log splitter, works really good, as you can see the carnage down there. Okay, so she hooks up just to the three-point hitch, so you can transport it around easy and drive around with it, drive wherever you want to split, or you could just drop it off and uh, drive the tractor around beside and hook the hoses on there and then you're a little bit more convenient here for doing your splitting because what I do instead of running like another handle assembly back here for your forward and reverse I just run my hoses up to the hydraulic outputs here and then I just use the, uh, the loader control forward and reverse for it and uh, saves you buying like you know all the other crap you need to handle and you know these handles are not cheap so like with the, the valves and stuff and the bypass valves already built in there so you know uh... the most expensive thing that was on this was the the ram here I think it was almost two hundred and fifty bucks or something so it's just sorta of welded and smeared all together you know this was uh... the uh... three-point hitch attachment thing from actually this blue part of this blade that I chopped apart. There's the other chunk of it in here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there. That's the other chunk of it. So I just chopped it apart, threw it on there, and gives me my wing. And uh, for the axe part here, it's just a, you know, three-quarter inch piece of flat steel that I've sharpened. Had to chop a bunch off with the torch here first, and then I got the grinder and sharpened it. And I'll tell you, it's, it's sharp. Like, like you can feel feel the sharpness of that and then these are just uh... you know those angle bracket things really beefy stuff and uh... it's just a big i-beam too of course you can see this um, huge i-beam and then it's just attached you know under here so it keeps the ram from going up in the air kind of thing and the way i had it built when i got this carrier on here it didn't go far enough like it only stopped it only stopped about here, you know, so it would leave some of your wood not split, and then you'd have to fight with it all the time. So I went and got this hunk of steel here. This is, I think, two and a half or three inch thick stuff by, you know, 12 by, or not 12, sorry, uh, six by eight or whatever it is. And uh, my god, that piece was, that piece alone was about 28 bucks just for this chunk. So that was kind of pricey, but um, when I was at the at the the metal shop getting that, uh, the guy was telling me they get this stuff, this thickness in a four by eight sheet 
four feet by eight feet, and then you just, you know, slice out what you need out of it. It's like, holy crap, that'd be heavy. This piece alone, I think it weighs nearly 60 pounds. Anyhow, so yeah, that's, um, that was my project a few years ago. We had a couple of big trees that we'd take down, so I'm like, well, we could use uh, firewood, so what the heck? So, you know, a couple of weeks of messing around, and we put this together.